Hello, welcome to Talk Math. Today we're going to be solving the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log of x times the natural log of 1 minus x dx. Now, in order to start this, I want to substitute in the Taylor series for natural log of 1 minus x. And we know that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the power n plus 1 times x to the power n over n is equal to natural log of 1 plus x by the Taylor series expansion. But we want to know 1 minus x, so we can plug in a negative x into this and get the sum from n equals 1 to infinity. Now plugging a negative x into here, we'll have a negative x to the n. And that negative 1 to the n will cancel with this, giving us a negative x to the n over n is equal to the natural log of 1 minus x. Now we can plug this into here. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log of x times, now plugging the summation, we have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative x to the n over n dx. Now we can switch the order of these. So we have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of, now I'm going to bring this 1 over n right here. And, then, and same with the negative 1, uh, which is right here. So I'll make this a negative 1 over n. And then times the integral from 0 to 1 of this ln x. And then we have this x to the n dx times right there. Now, this integral is pretty simple. It's just becoming integration by parts, where we differentiate natural log and integrate uh, x to the n. So I'm going to use tabular, so differentiating natural log of x and integrating x to the n. We have 1 over x and x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So this is going to be equal to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 over n times, now this integral is going to become ln of x times x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 evaluated from 0 to 1, then we have plus the integral from 0 to 1, sorry, minus the integral, this would be minus sign, of this times this, so x to the n over n plus 1 dx. Now, this is equal to sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 over n, and then we have, starting with this big parentheses, well, when we plug in 1 into here, we have natural log of 1 is 0, times 1 divided by n plus 1, so that's just going to be 0. When we plug in 0, we see that x to the n plus 1 will go to 0 faster than the natural log of x goes to negative infinity. So this actually also goes to 0. So this whole term just goes to 0. Now the second term, we can iterate pretty easily. So it's just going to be negative x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 squared, evaluated from 0 to 1. Now plugging this in, we have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of, well, we have negative 1 over n. And then plugging in 1 into here, we'll have a negative 1 over n plus 1 squared. And plugging in 0, we'll just have 0. So these negatives will cancel out, just leaving us a 1 over, we have the n, and then we're going to have the n plus 1 squared. And it's pretty nice that this integral is simplified down into this interesting summation. Now, in order to continue this interesting summation, I'm going to split this up by using partial fraction. So I'm going to want to rewrite this as a sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a over n plus 1 squared plus b over n plus 1 plus c over n. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to multiply this out. So I'm going to multiply a by n, and so we get a n, and then multiply this term by n times n plus 1, so plus b n squared plus b n, then multiply c by n plus 1 squared, so plus c n squared plus 2 c n plus c, and that whole thing must equal 1. And the way I got that was just by multiplying this, this equals this by n plus 1 squared times n. So now, setting the coefficients equal to each other, we see that b plus c equals 0, because there's no n squared over here, a plus b, and then plus 2cn, sorry, plus 2c, must equal 0, because again, the coefficient of n, and then c equals 1. Now c equals 1, we know that b equals negative 1. And then plugging those into here, so negative 1 plus 2 is 1, so a must be negative 1 as well. So now we can plug this all back in here. So this is equal to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 over n plus 1 squared. Now we, I'm going to write this c over n first, so we have plus 1 over n, and we're going to have a minus 1 over n plus 1. Now, when I see this, I immediately recognize this part as converging because it's a telescoping series, and this part is also converging because it's the sum of 1 over n squared equivalently. So I'm going to split this up into two different summations. So you have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1, and then we're going to have plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative Sorry, I'm going to bring this negative to the outside, so let's put this over here. Negative 1 over n plus 1 squared. Now, this first part, if you think about it, if we write it out, it's 1 over 1 minus 1 half. Then we plug in 2, we're going to have a plus 1 half minus 1 third. And then when we plug in 2, we're going to have a, sorry, 3, we're going to have a plus 1 third 
and so on. And we notice that these all cancel, leaving us with just this 1 over 1. So this whole first term is just 1. So this equals 1 minus, now we have the sum. I'm going to change the index on this summation so that we now have the sum from n equals 2 to infinity of n squared. So n equals 2 to infinity of 1 over n squared. Now this is very similar to the Basel problem, and we know that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared is equal to pi squared over 6, but we're starting at n equals 2. So we know that this is equal to pi squared over 6, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, minus this evaluate at 1, so minus 1 over 1. So this becomes 1 minus pi squared over 6 minus 1. So distributing out that negative, we get that it's going to be 2 minus pi squared over 6, and we're done with this problem. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more like it, and feel free to leave any comments or suggestions down below.